Yeah. The newsroom tonight with her incredible survival story. Trevor. Jen, the victim here thought her attacker was working out. But after fighting for her life, the woman wants to talk about her experience to encourage other women who may have been in the same situation to speak out. She thought he was working out. As soon as he was approaching me, I pushed him. I said, bro, what the F are you doing? Nishali Alma was just doing what so many people do, getting in a late night workout at an apartment complex's gym. She saw a guy standing outside and let him in, thinking he was doing the same. Next thing you know, I get up from doing my workout and I grab my phone and he just approaches me. And not a single word was exchanged. Though the security footage is silent, what happened next was violent. The suspect, who police say is Xavier Thomas Jones, tried to grab Alma. But Thomas she Jones! She Xavier Thomas when Jones! When it was happening, I actually had no fear. Um, I am a bodybuilder, and I'm actually pretty strong. So in my mind, he was kind of equal to me. As the video shows, she ran to the other side of the gym, trying to call 911. My advice would be to never give up. Uh, my parents always told me in life to never give up on, on anything. And that's one thing I always kept in my mind when I was fighting. You kick his ass? The two ended up wrestling on the ground. At the end of the video, you can see him getting tired. Because the more fight you put, the, the more they don't they want to give up and just stop. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office arrested Thomas Jones less than two oh my God. hours later. I was overwhelmed with emotion of how proud I was that this victim wasn't going to allow herself to be raped and how hard she fought and the strength she had. Sheriff Chad Cronister is glad Alma spoke up, and so is she. I was assaulted, but that's not going to stop me from living. That's not going to stop who I am. That's not going to stop what I want to do in life. This was an hour ago? No, this all happened on January 22nd. Oh, Jones 18 hours ago. Day. He's charged with I'm pretty sure he wanted to rape her, but we they don't... It looked like he was trying to get her subdued, and then I guess he thought he would rape. Who... who you fucking morons. What's all this rape edition? Rape it, rape's no good. Oh, this is what I wanted to show. I couldn't get it to come up on the map. I was doing my, my flow rate through the outside. And look, I've got this is in this town, but it comes from Toka, Georgia. Toka, Georgia. This is the helicopter ride. This is a grasshopper boy. This is Mercy Ship. I just like it. This is my Orgone imploder bowl. It's very nice made, etched it out. This actually has some, uh, it has some neat qualities. Yeah. It can happen early this morning in the 500 block of Webster Drive in Huntsville. WFF 48's Elizabeth Jello caught up with the victim. Elizabeth, emotions were running high. And Mark, the woman, the victim, tells us that a man broke into her house and tried to rape her. her trying to rape her? Went in and he tried to help her out, but the man got away, leaving behind, though, evidence of his visit. Evidence. Kelly Dodson was asleep with a little girl inside Not their Kelly on Dodson. Webster Drive when I was attacked by some idiot from out here in the projects. Dodson says her attacker used a garbage can to climb onto the unit's ledge, open the upstairs window, and the then he got bastard. in bed with her. He, he tried to rape me. He tried to pull my clothes off. Dodson struggled with her attacker, knocking over items in the oh. bedroom. Antoine Dodson heard his sister scream and ran to help. Well, obviously we have a rapist in Lincoln Park. He's climbing in your windows. He's snatching your people up, trying to rape them. So y'all need to hide your kids. Had your wife and had your husband because they raping everybody out here.